could future cities perform like a forest? The Austrian architect and designer cooperative, Breath Earth Collective, thought, why not? And started a piece of experimental research on this question. We found out that the most important uh, food is air. We tried to find solutions where you can build um, yeah, such, such microclimate uh, oases in the city. At the Skulpturenpark Graz, Breath Earth Collective started a pilot project. The idea of Evapotri in Skulpturenpark uh, was that uh, you have an uh, very um, powerful, very small uh, element that can be everywhere, also uh, somewhere in the city, that can produce uh, good and clean uh, air with a, a high amount of oxygen. We don't need uh, electric power, only a little bit to bring the humidity in the air by these fog nozzles, then everything else is, is, is working with, with the plants, what they're doing all the day, everywhere, on the whole planet. In the meantime, Breath Earth Collective have begun to disseminate their evapotree concept to cities like Vienna and others. What we really want to bring in the world is that these solutions for climate change or even little oases can really have a beauty and, and you can love them, you can really enjoy them. Sustainable techniques are quite developed. We already have the technical methods. What we have to do is to make it real. It's not just that we are uh, making cities bigger and bigger and consuming more territory, but we, we have to rethink how the city works with the territory. In order to raise awareness for the relationships between cities and their surroundings, the Spanish Architects Collective, PES Estudio, started the Agroplaza project which involves people in an experimental dialogue about the sustainability of cities. Other communication projects, such as the Klima Champs app from Graz, which is intended to motivate people to live sustainably in the region, have similar goals. In most cities today, a sustainable lifestyle is impossible. The uncontrolled growth on the outskirts of the cities has made people dependent on cars. In Graz, new district projects like the Reininghaus Quarter are currently being developed to counteract this. Two important things, mixed use and density. Uh, so, in fact, uh, if you decide to live in Reininghaus, there are not so many reasons why you have to leave Eining House. There is uh, excellent bicycle infrastructure, then there is very attractive uh, 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 public transport, and there are many restrictions concerning car traffic. This begins in your own building. If you own a flat in Eining House, it's not possible to come to your car without leaving the house. You cannot just uh, enter a lift and go downstairs and there is your car. You have to go out of the door just the same way uh, like you have when you go to the uh, public transport. So we uh, wanted to make it a fair competition between the car and other means of transport. But it is another factor that has the greatest influence on the resource consumption of cities. The economic conditions under which products are manufactured and profits are made with them. We have to switch from the linear system to the circular system, which means that we can use, reuse, repair and also recycle materials, buildings again and again. There are so many products, so many resources in our cities. In the beginning of the design process or in the beginning of uh, producing a product, we should think about do we really need it? Should we actually produce something or maybe should we make a service out of it that we don't have to buy? A car, we just lend a car. And this we could do with a lot of other products. The designer has to think about what is with the product if we don't use it anymore. Um, and steps before recycling it should be reusing it, um, reselling it, repairing it, upcycling it. And then one of the last steps is recycling it. Because recycling a material or a product um, demands 
a lot of energy. Sustainability includes three pillars. First, to take care about the environment. The second is uh, it's really important to uh, think in uh, economic categories and not to forget, very important, the social issues. Reusing actually um, demands a lot of engagement because reusing it could mean that you change products on a swapping party or you bring it to a second hand shop, uh, you borrow it to your neighbors. So it's more a social engagement actually. Mm -hmm.